Greetings, folks. Welcome. When doing economic data analysis, we're often interested in the connection or what we call the relationship between two variables. Two of the most important concepts in economics, demand and supply, look at the relationship between price and quantity. If you've ever taken a labor economics class, you might have studied some of the factors that affect a person's earnings, and one of the key factors is their education. There are different ways that we can analyze the relationship between two variables. In this video, we'll talk about a scatter plot, whereas in a different video, we'll talk about a cross tabulation table. A scatter plot is used to show the relationship between two quantitative variables. So you put one quantitative variable on the x axis, this is also the horizontal axis, and then you put a different quantitative variable on the y axis, which is the vertical axis. So here's an example of a scatter plot. You see that I've labeled the y axis and the x axis. And all of those points represent observations in your data set. After making a scatter plot, you want to characterize its form, direction, and strength. One type of form is a linear form. So if you look at the points, can you picture a line passing through it? So here's an example of a scatter plot that has a linear form. So even if you didn't have that line shown through the scatter plot, if you just saw these points, you could actually picture that line passing through the points. Here's a scatter plot that doesn't have a linear form. It's just a bunch of random points on the scatter plot, and there's no clear line that would pass through these points. The second key characteristic of a scatter plot is its direction. So if you have a linear form, the question is, is a line pointing up or down? If you have a positive relationship, the y values increase when the x values increase. In other words, the line is pointing up. This is an example of a scatter plot that shows a positive relationship. Again, we've established that there's a line that goes through the scatter plot, and it's upward sloping. So when the x values increase, the y values increase as well. If you have a negative relationship, the y values decrease when the x values increase. So it looks like the line is pointing downward. This scatter plot shows a negative relationship. So you have all these points, and it's pretty clear that you can picture a line going through these points, but the line is downward sloping. So when the x values get larger, the y values get smaller. After characterizing a scatter plot's form and direction, you want to think about the strength of the relationship. So that is, if you have a linear form, are the points close to the line? You have a strong relationship if the points are close to the line. You have a weak relationship if the points are farther away from the line. Here's an example of a scatter plot with a very strong relationship. In fact, these points actually follow a straight line. So this is about as strong of a relationship as you can get. We characterize a scatter plot as having a weak relationship. First, if there's just no linear form, or second, if the points are not close to the line. So this is an example of a scatter plot with a very, very weak relationship. In this case, there's no clear linear form. 